Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. After what feels like forever, finally RetroArch has launched on Steam. Let's get started. Alright, to kick things off, back in 2019 I posted a video when we initially found out that RetroArch was coming to Steam, and I was extremely excited for it. Well, fast forward to two years later, just a short wait, and RetroArch is now officially available to the public. Now, getting RetroArch on Steam was not an easy task. The road the team took to get here wasn't a smooth one. There were some bumps along the way. Heck, the beta was over a year long. So I do want to say thank you to the Libretro team for making this happen. I know you worked extremely hard on it. To find RetroArch on Steam is pretty simple. Just type in RetroArch. You will find it here. It is 100% free. If you don't know how to use it, I'll leave a link in the description below with a tutorial that I've done. I've done a few of them. And I will be doing a Steam-specific tutorial of RetroArch in the near future soon-ish. Now some people might be asking, why is RetroArch on Steam such a big deal? Well, this is massive for emulation. Emulation has been growing in popularity year over year, and this really helps skyrocket it. This makes RetroArch accessible to a lot more people who would probably have never seen it or never have tried it otherwise. On top of that, this really helps legitimize emulation. Some people do think emulators are illegal, for the most part, they're really not. They're absolutely fine. I mean, big companies like Nintendo might not like you to think like that. But at the same time here, emulation is, for the most part, perfectly legal. And this helps emphasize that. It being on the Steam store is amazing. Additionally, there are some perks of running RetroArch on Steam. Namely, online multiplayer might be a little bit easier. And on top of that, Steam Cloud Saves. Yes, RetroArch will be compatible with Steam Cloud Saves. So if you think about picking up the Steam Deck later on, well, you can run RetroArch on that, save your game, and then pick it up on PC right where you left off. But anyways, that is all I've got for this video. Let me know your thoughts about RetroArch finally being on Steam in the comments below. Are you going to use it, or are you just going to stick with a standalone version? If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Thank you everyone, take care.